Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. This is Lotson, a veterinarian specialized in poultry. First and foremost, I want to say uh, thank you. Thank you so much guys for the 1000 subscribers to this channel. When I started, I didn't even anticipate that we we're going to reach 1000 subscribers. And I know I haven't posted in a long time really, but that number 1000 subscribers really encouraged me to record more videos so i'm really motivated i'm going to be recording more videos please stay tuned to the upcoming videos right okay so what are we going to talk about in today's video so uh in today's video we're going to be speaking about the parent stock okay so uh what is parent stock for some of you those who are very new to poultry farming uh parent stock simply uh speaks about the birds that lay eggs which hatch into the broilers so the parents of the broilers so in this video we are going to be speaking about how to raise them from the first week up to the 20th week okay as as you can see i'm uh, currently uh, located in a poultry farm that is specialized in that so i'll show you the videos of all the all the poultry houses what is inside we shall look at what is inside and the things that we need to do uh to raise such birds so please stay tuned this is going to be really interesting i promise you i'm really looking forward to this see you in a minute One other thing you want to observe is simply their behavior okay so you simply observe uh, how is the distribution of the chicks in this case i would say this is the ideal distribution you want the chicks to be evenly distributed 
the chicks are not all in one area okay if the chicks are in one area uh, it means something is not right either it's too cold or it's really really uh, too hot somewhere but in this case uh, it is it is perfect right so that is what we that is what we want okay all right and apart from that you can see the level of the feeders right uh, when you look at the feeders you want to see that your chickens when they are feeding they are raising their head a little bit up and not down for this case i feel that the feeders needs to be raised a little bit yeah obviously it will be raised i think in about a few days but that's what you want to you want to know also you want to uh, check that the water and the water pressure is okay right so you want to check how is the water how is the water pressure in this case you've got a uh, nipple drinker so just press a little bit to see the water is coming and it's all right but the water is a little bit cold uh, the temperature of the water at all times you know it should be somewhere around 20 right that should be the ideal temperature of the water somewhere around 20 because if the water is too cold the chicks are not going to drink that water just like us humans we're not going to drink water which is very very cold obviously so this water seems to be too cold for them but hopefully some are drinking <coughs> okay all right let's go on and also one important observation in this uh poultry house we have got a demarcation uh this demarcation is not being used right now but it's there for a purpose when these chicks start to be weighed right obviously we want a target weight so there will be weight and you find that the chicks that are weighing more than we need will need to be put in one section and they're feeding their feed amount of feed will be reduced a little bit and then those that are underweight those that are under the target weight will be in one area and the feeding has to be more the feed will be increased so that they are evenly so this is the purpose of that demarcation okay and as you can also see on my right here uh, this space has been left Obviously, it, this is a brooding phase and we don't need all this space, right? This space will be needed uh, once the chicks have grown a little bit, a little bit more. They'll be moved to the uh, to the right. And this, this net here, this one mesh, will be removed. Yeah. So that is uh, what is happening in this pottery house. Over here, we have got uh, automatic feeders, which are very, very good. And it reduces uh, labor. The feed just comes all the way down from the pipes into the uh, into these uh, big big containers, right? And uh, that's how they feed. So these chicks here, they are feeding about four times a day. Okay, so they just fed like 30 seconds. They just fed them like 30 minutes ago. After two hours, uh, they'll feed again. So they are eating a lot at the moment and another thing guys it's the lights so when you look at the lighting it's not very bright here like i said there are two weeks we don't need a lot of lighting uh in this area this lighting is perfect for this uh for this chick so the lighting intensity will keep reducing as as they grow older when you are working in a pottery house you want to see that there is even lighting in all the areas uh, you don't have any spots which are dark that is not good you want to see that all the areas have got enough lighting like in this case if you see any defect or something is not working uh, you need to get that thing looked at as soon as possible okay